Honorable Slave Tama, is the Prince of Transport, Republic of Liberia, now on the podium to give us update from the Ministry of Transport. Ladies and gentlemen, um, before I begin, I will be remiss and spineless if I don't introduce my team members who support us in every way possible to ensure that the arrest agenda is fulfilled. Um, so I have the Deputy Minister for Arbitration and Insurance, Mr. Archibald Abang, and his sir. Next, I have, please have your seat, sir. Next, I have the Honorable um, Rudolph Nat. He's our Deputy Minister for Land and Rail Services, Republic of Liberia, Minister of Transport. And I have the Director of Inspectory, who we call our Inspector General at the Ministry of Transport, Mr. Africanus Pamule. And lastly, I have the Director for Press and Public Affairs, Mr. Lemmy O'Clinton. Um, before I begin, so let me tell you a little bit about the Ministry of Transport because you know, many, many people think it's just driver license and car registration, but we are more than that. We are way, way bigger than that. Um, the Ministry of Transport was created by an act of the legislature in 1987. McClure Dapo became the first minister because previously it was attached to the Ministry of Commerce, Industry, and Transportation. But because of the, the, the humongous task, President Doe and his um, wisdom separated the ministry. The ministry is, has two divisions. Um, there are about 21 plus directors that head divisions. So that's us. That's our little group of the Um So upon our confirmation and subsequent appointment as Minister of Transport, we have been working tirelessly to address some of the challenges that required immediate intervention. We inherited an institution that was involved with systematic malfunctions, mismanagement of human resource management system, payroll fraud, insufficient logistics and office tools, unaccountability of the ministry asset registry, constant and most of the time interrupted power supply, the unavailability of internet connectivity sometimes, the underutilization of professional and unconducive work environment coupled with two major fire disasters that we had in the last six years. And all of these affected the Ministry of Transport to some extent. To so adequately ins install quick intervention where necessary, we have immediately develop the Ministry 100 Days Plan in line with His Excellency Joseph Yima Bwakai plan for the transformation and the development of the country under the arrest agenda. The quick impact interventions are meant to provide a needed remedy to challenges that will be that will be some impediments in executing the institutional statutory, statutory mandates and core functions to address its short, medium, and long-term development goals contributing to social, economic development and growth. The overall objective of the 100 days deliverable is to improve and modernize an efficient organizational capacity, human resource, and operational management system of the ministry. On top of this, we'll be talking about our incoming inspections and what we have done in the sector so far. From there, we'll take some questions. So one of the 100-day uh, deliverable we had was to review all contracts. And um, as at, at current, we have we sent to a third party legal firm to review all of our contracts, especially the contract that was signed between 2018 to 2023. And we're waiting for the, those reports to come out and they should be out in a week's time. Um, we have commenced the to some, at some extent, the, the renovation of the transport ministry, day by day, flow by flow, until we can complete it. And we, with the IAA, is in the process of auditing the automated vehicle and um, driver uh, lessing system. Um, we have completed the asset verification, all of our assets. We have two generators and one, um, one that 
like Savage, then we have about 50 vehicles in our fleet, although most of them are in our inoperable. We have conducted with the IAA a review of human resources management bureau audit. So what that should do is just cover that nine needs on the payroll were no longer in by the Ministry of Transport. We taking those actions. It was established that some of those nine people um, had passed away and four persons had tendered their resolutions, but they were still on the payroll for the last few months. We have completed a successful haircut with CSA, counting our people physically, and we have completed that process completely. Again, we have conducted minor renovations. Um, we move all the ministers up and the flow downstairs will start the minor work to complete those in the nearest as soon as possible time. We have, a, we have resumed the normal service delivery, deliverable to our people, which is um, driver license, um, vehicle registration, eligibility, and supporting in terms of insurance services. We place high on our priority internet connectivity and as a stand, our internet has been fully restored. But let me tell you a little bit about our system. Our system is a free tool system. To become the Ministry of Transport, we initiate a transaction. We have the APIs that connect to the LRA. So it connects to the LRA. LRA sends it to the bank. And then when you go to the bank and pay downstairs, LRA is your receipt of, 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 of receipt of that. And then we go and then issue your up to the end of last month, year to date, the Ministry of Transport has raised over $2.4 billion to the national coffers. That's just the first quarter, which constituted a 34% growth. Okay, when I mean 34% growth, I mean growth we comparing um, from January, February to March, month on month. Um, and the main driver of those of that growth, we've had a 132% growth in insurance stickers. We, for the registration process, we had about 36% growth in the, the revenue of the registration of motorbikes and motorcycles. So, analysis of the first quarter of 2023 versus the first quarter of 2024 shows that we've had a 15% increase in revenue. So we, we've improved over the time being. By the way, after this interview, we, we have those data that we can share to the press uh, if, you need, if you need so. Um, and as you can see, most of the drivers um, decided the motorcycle with the insurance um, policies that His Excellency Joseph Numa Wak had instructed us to put for, and we have done that successfully. And now you see other ministry of transport. Before anything goes through our, our system, it must be insured. Because insurance mitigates risks, and risks is about safety. And safety, um, as the IG said, is the first priority of our president. So we have a little bit of decentralization that we're working on. Um, we have, sorry for the, I'm sorry. Um, we have the, we have the Kakata Service Center, and we have the Ministry of uh, um, um, complex and it's so complex that will be inside there that you can go and those services are there as well. So, inspections. Tomorrow, the Ministry of Transport will begin its full 21 day exercise of inspections. Um, I, when I conclude my little talk, I will have the, the director of the inspectorate to say a few words on that. Um, so, in 21 days, in, tomorrow for 21 days, we'll be inspecting two out of 15 subdivisions in the country, and that inspection includes inspections at all concession sites, inspections throughout Morovia for vehicles, motorbikes, tricycles, and the rest. And one of the, one of the inspections we'll be doing, we've seen that there is ubiquity and inundation in government place all over the, the place, and we're trying to stop that for a vehicle to have a government assigned place you will see that you must have the GSA emblem. For many vehicles, you see those, those uh, plates that will be taken off of those vehicles that are not marked with GSA signs. Um, and it's our plan to, the entire government structure, 
with the approval of the president, will be changing all of, all of those plates. When I mean that, I mean the design of the judiciary plates will be changed. The design of the old series with the, 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 the power minister's drive and other officials will be changed. The design of the legislature will be changed. And um, because we have members of the 54, the 53 that look like that around trying to get them off the streets. This time around, the plates were actually there in the 55th legislature. And because of what happened in the past, we, we, we've done a policy now that every time there's a change of the legislature, there will be the numbering of that legislature, as, as that numbering of that legislature assigned to the incoming ones, so we can have any issues. Um, also, there are guest plates around. The guest plates should be issued by two organizations, the CSA and the, and the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We'll be taking the old ones off the street and redesigning those entities to have the new ones to give to the appropriate people that deserve them. I should conclude, conclude the, the play, the, the enforcement exercise. Um, but please, I will appeal to you, public, members of the press, religious leaders, is to inform your people that the ego registration and the ego insurance it's a public safety issue and it's a public issue because it's about safety. So when our when our streets are not safe, I mean it's not good for us. When we're in the process of bringing two more to the country, because our airport is at, is at level six now, and we intend to take it to a level ten plus, where we can invite bigger airlines and other people to come to serve our people um, in terms of the of aeronautic um, transportation.